Madam Mercy of Radha Mohan. Most of the time on the weekend we have a fortune to. I have fortune to say some words. We together have fortune to listen the glory of <clears throat> our Ishtadev. So in chapter six. Tenth Canto, Chapter Sixth, and Text Thirty. Shri Shuka Vacha <coughs> Iti Pranaya Badhabir Gopi Vikrat Rakshanam Payit Basanam Mata Sanveshaya Dhatmajam. Headed by Mother Yeshu. We are bound by maternal affection. <laughs> so nice. After they thus chanted mantras to protect the child, Mother Yashoda gave the child the nipple of her breast to suck and then got him to lie down on his bed. All gopis were bounded by maternal affection. So much love was there that he chanted the mantra for our Kanaya. Purport. When a baby drinks milk from the breast of his mother, this is a good sign of health. My point of view, this is only not good sign of health. This is also the good sign of very strong, tight connect connection with mother of a child. Because you realize child keep remains to realize the connection. That's why whenever he feels the child feels he needs, he cried and only look at mother. So as a devotee, we should also if we are hungry of any kind of our not completely material, when we are, we have a strong, deep desire for our spiritual need, we should cry. And definitely this cries, mother, listen. Actually, for material need, we also cry only to, to our mother. And as we are in Vrindavan, as in the devotional service as a Vaishnava, we all know that who is our mother. So it's better even for your small, non-beneficial, material desire. If for the short time you need and you think that, why I don't have that and you are feasy, feeling for anxious. And in this anxiety mood, you are not completely ready to focus even on spiritual activities. Non-beneficial material activities fulfill first. Keep your outside satisfaction and then try making yourself free to deep inside spiritual upliftment. 
as much i can i can understand so it's not the only good sign of health it is the sum total of all kind of beneficiaries so the elderly gopis were not satisfied with chanting mantra to give protection to krishna it shows the gopis love with their maternal affection how they if in their they are in motherly love how they can satisfy just by chanting some mantra same thing in material world we are i what i said that non beneficial we chant different material mantras those are not non beneficial so gopis were not satisfied at certain states in material world also happens we get bored not as satisfied then we take next step they also tested whether their child's health was in order when the child sucked the breast this confirmed that he was healthy one point of level this is also okay to check the health of your baby but baby check the connection baby satisfy after connected till then baby cries only not satisfied crying belly full happy when the child suck the breast this confirmed that he was healthy and when the gopis were fully satisfied they had the child lie down on his bed text 31 tavanand tavan anand dayo gopa mathuraya vrajam gataah vilok putana deham babhu ur tivishmitaah meanwhile all the cowherd men headed by nand maharaj returned from mathura and when they saw on the way the gigantic body of putana actually putana after killing putana body krishna didn't keep in vrindavan in the area of vrindavan in the radius of this parikrama or whatever where they were living krishna thrown the body of putana out of the radius of vrindavan and they found that putana is lying down in mathura and they were struck with great wonder purport nanda maharaj wonder may be understood in various ways first of all the cowherd men had never before seen such a gigantic body obviously we also many things see first in our life when we are surprised and therefore they were struck with wonder then they began to consider where such a body had come from whether it had dropped from the sky or whether by some mystic or by the power of some mystic yogini they had come to some place other than vrindavan they could not actually guess what had happened and therefore they were struck with wonder the different speculation they were making that from where this body came horrible gigantic body
टेक्स्ट थर्टी टू नूनम बतर्षि संजातो योगेशो वा समास स एव दृष्टो हित पातो यदा हान यदा हानक दुंदु भी नंद महाराज एंड अदर गोपाल एक्सक्लेम माय डियर फ्रेंड्स यू मस्ट नो दैट अनाका दुंदु भी अनाका दुंदु भी वासुदेवा has become a great saint or a master of mystic power otherwise how could we have foreseen this calamity and predicted it to us vasudeva has become a great saint or master of mystic power Nanda Baba was saying this. Otherwise, how could we have foreseen this calamity and predicted it to us? Actually, Nanda Maharaj forecasted or instructed them about all these happening. Anaka Dundubi is a is an instrument that blown. before happening something war or something any kind of calamity so by this blowing this uh, instrument it just to make each and every one to be aware that something is going to be wrong and this already vasudeva maharaj said to nanda maharaj the gopas it was very clear that they need to be it will be careful this was illustrates the difference between kshatriyas and innocent vaishyas now there is a differentiation is described over here between two communities two varnas kshatriyas and vaishyas warrior people and the business people by studying the political situation vasudeva could see what would happen because he was kshatriya whereas nand maharaj the kind of the agriculturalists could only guess that vasudeva was a great saintly person and had developed mystic powers nand maharaj was not able to see this what vasudeva maharaj saw vasudeva actually had all mystic powers under his control otherwise he could not have become the father of krishna other hand it, it shows the qualities to be become the father of a god that level of devotee definitely need that kind that kind of empowerment doesn't matter how this empowerment and this all his strength is coming from by sadhana or by tapasya austerity but it is needed to become the father of god but in fact he foresaw the calamities in braja by studying comes up political activities as a kshatriya having the political mind and not only political mind related with definitely with some relation with kamsa husband of his sister he was understanding many things very clearly and thus warned nanda maharaj to take precautions although nanda maharaj thought that vasudeva had predicted this incident through wonderful mystic powers by mystic powers gained through the practice of hatha yoga one can study the understand the future this subject is totally different has nothing to do with modern vaishnavism if some people are doing they know it's difficult to say to go in hatha yoga this yogic studies text 33 kale bram parshubhikshit 
करे बलम पर शुभिक्षित्वा तत्त व्रजोक सह दूरे छिपवा भय वशो नैधन काष्टवेष्टितम The inhabitants of Braja cut the gigantic body of Bhutana into pieces with the help of axes. Wow. Then they threw the pieces of far away, covered them with wood, and burned them to ashes. So the Brajwasi also fulfilled their duties. What to do with the? If they find any kind of any dead body, purport, it is the practice that after a snake has been killed, its body is cut into various pieces for fear that it may come to life again simply by interacting with air. So the same thing, Brajwasi were knowing about Putna that Putna is not less than any. Poisonous snake. Actually, she put the poison on her breast to kill Krishna. That's why she she has been concerned as a poisonous snake. So it is possible. It is said how it is possible. I don't know, but uh, yeah, cut into pieces. After killing one snake, otherwise, by the effect of air, this snake can become alive. The same thing they were thinking that this rakshas is this demoniac lady can also awake again. Merely killing a serpent is not sufficient. After it is killed, it must be cut to pieces and burned. Utna was also like snake. After her death. They cut her into pieces and burn. The same thing one should do with a snake. After killing, need to cut into pieces and burn. And then the danger will be covered. Putna resembled a great serpent, of course, and therefore the god men took the same precautions by burning her body to ashes. बिकॉज ऑफ कृष्णाज हैविंग सक्ट द ब्रेस्ट ऑफ द राक्षसी पूतना पुट हिज माउथ ऑन अ ब्रेस्ट वेन कृष्णा किल्ड हर she was immediately freed of all material contamination the master of this vast universe was there and she was just a simply demoniac lady and the one relation developed between both of them krishna and putna mother and son It became the duty of Krishna to give, to free her of all different material contamination. Her sinful reactions automatically vanished. This is the nature of our Ishtadev. I have to give causeless mercy. unconditional love she came to kill he connected this incident with relation and to prove this relation he freed her from all material contamination wow This is only possible by our ish to dev, or it is only possible by our guru dev. No difference. A 
her sinful reactions automatically vanished and therefore when her gigantic body was being burned the smoke emanating from her body was fragrant like a guru incense kripa after kripa <laughs> coming to kill kripa after kripa she was looking so ugly so ridiculous so harsh even when the body is what when her body was being burned fragrance was coming out of the smoke of her burning <laughs> this is surprising such are the effect of krishna consciousness if one somehow or other becomes krishna conscious by applying his sen- senses in the service of the lord utna somehow she was also doing the service with different intention but she did her service as a mother one is immediately freed from material contamination sarvatam swakatha krishna punya shravana kirtana hearing about the activities of krishna is the beginning of purified life punya shravana kirtana punya shravana kirtana simply by hearing and chanting shravana kirtana smaran mandal listening with ears chanting with your mind simply by hearing and chanting one becomes purified that means this hearing and chanting is the pro- process of purification therefore in discharging devotional service shravan kirtana hearing and chanting is most important then with purified senses one begins to render service to the lord rishi kena rishi kesha shevanam bhaktir uchyate i need some seconds so i'm very sorry i have to stop in between there are some things some seva has been giving by sri ram gurudeva is also important and this person came now and you all people know that i am at the gate i'm not in my personal place i am in seva so i have to go if someone can continue still half an hour is remain 
I request to Andhika Prabhu can continue. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh Thank you, Baba. <laughs> so please come back if possible. Yes, I, I will try. If the time is there, I will continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or please. I can again uh, sit in the evening time also if you allow me. <laughs> yeah. If it is possible. So I like to continue in the evening time or in the afternoon, three o'clock or the four o'clock for the half an hour. Uh, if, if possible. I don't know what is the system of Zoom. Yeah, why yeah. Not? it's good. Which time is good for you? You can choose, please. 3 30 is okay for me. Okay. So I will take opinion about yeah, and I inform it. 30 minutes just. Yeah, so, so you can 40 minutes, 45, 40 minutes. Okay. 40 minutes. Yeah, we will meet okay. later. Uh, that time I can take 40 minutes. And after that, uh, I will conclude. And then again, next uh, Sunday. Huh. This is something important uh, regarding with this board, sign board with the light in front of the temple that people can see easily which temple this is. So this ah. is hmm. Thank you. So this, I have to go. This guy bought also accident. So he also came after some bandage and it took time mm. so he's there now so i have to mm -hmm. go with him thank you very much for your thank kindness you. for your yeah, unconditional love showing your mercy <laughs> to me like a completely fallen soul thank you very much the service to the law This is called Bhakti. When senses are impurified also. Until Shravan Kirtan is not there. Senses are purified with the process of Shravan and Kirtan. Listening and doing and Kirtan. And these purified senses only can use full to do the service of the Lord. You can see the same thing happen directly or indirectly with Putana. She came to kill. But indirectly, she did the service to the Lord. And that's why when her nasty material body is burned to ashes, it gave up the fragrance of Aguru, the most agreeably scented herb. It means that when our bhakti reach on that state with the purified senses, with the full of our heart, with full of our devotion, it gives fragrance. High class fragrance. Text 3536. Putna lok balagni rakshasi rudhi rashna jingasaya bi hare astanam datwap sadgatim kimpuna sradhya bhaktya krishna pramatmane yakshan priyatamam kimnu raktas astanmatro yatha. Putna was always hankering for the blood of human children. And with that desire, she came to kill Krishna. But because she offered her breast to the Lord, she attained the greatest achievement. What then is to be said of those who had natural devotion and affection for Krishna? Yeah, this is the point. Very good, nice. Line is there. If Putra is coming with this intention,
to see attain the greatest achievement what about the ordinary affection human with their na uh, natural devotion and affection for krishna gopis who has mothers offered him their breasts or to suck or offer something very dear it's not only matter of the breast anything offering offering waste means anything we can offer what we offer as a mother offers something to a child the natural affection of a mother to their children Utna had no affection for Krishna. Actually, she put the breast in the mouth of Krishna, but not that purified intention. She was not in love with Krishna. Actually, she was envious and wanted to kill him. Nonetheless. because with or without knowledge she offered her breast difference between putna nature and god nature demonic nature and god nature she attained the highest achievement in life even the intention is bad but at least offering generally any lady is not ready to put her breast in the child of someone's not possible so krishna caught this mood doesn't matter she is come in the lady form in the form of a mother and generally any lady doesn't put her breast in the mouth of in any other children so krishna caught this mood even she is not unknown for me she is not my own mother but she came with bad intention even and she put her breast in my mouth so she became my mother she is not considering krishna that krishna is her child Our son or something, but Krishna is thinking about her. Doesn't matter. She put her breast in my mouth, so she is my mother. But the offerings of devotees attracted to Krishna in parental love are always sincere. A mother. likes to offer something to her child with affection and love there is no question of envy krishna caught this mood her putting breast in her his mouth was not envious she came with this intention but at the time when she put the breast in her his mouth this was totally motherly the short moment was motherly so a mother likes to offer something to her child with her affection and love there is no question of envy krishna caught this mood this moment he caught so here we can make a comparative study if putna could attain such an exalted position in spiritual life by neglectfully enviously making an offering to krishna what is to be said of mother yashoda and the other gopis 
if we are offering something with our purified mood purified heart how much he can give us though a pure devotee don't have any kind of desire that god should give him something even by this mood by looking this intention or mood what he cannot give to the devotee is ready to give everything even himself if devotee doesn't want anything for this type of devotee is ready to give himself who serve krishna with such great affection and love that's why it is said प्रेम संबंध लविंग रिलेशन विद आवर इष्ट देव लविंग रिलेशन एंड दिस दासी भाव दिस किंकरी भाव दिस मंजरी भाव ओनली कैन कम बाय लविंग रिलेशन विथ आवर इष्ट देव unconditional love no demand no desire are if any desire is there this will fulfill automatically without any effort like gurudev said if our fifth effort is there our all effort our all effort full desire will fulfill without any effort we have to increase this effort actually प्रेम संबंध लविंग रिलेशन ऑफरिंग एवरिंग फॉर कृष्णा सेटिस्फैक्शन मदर यशोदा एंड गोपीज अदर गोपीज दैट टाइम द गोपीज ऑटोमेटिकली अचीव द हाइएस्ट परफेक्शन therefore sri chaitanya mahaprabhu recommended the affection of the gopis either in the material affection or in conjugal love as the highest perfection in life ramya khajit upasana brajavadu varjena ya kalpita either in maternal affection or in conjugal love is the highest perfection in life text 3738 pad byam bhakti hridaya sthabhyam vandabhyam lok vandite angam yasya samakram me bhagwan pitat snam dhatu dhanya pisa swargam bhavab janani gatim krishna bhukta stan kshira kimu gavo nu matra the supreme personality of godhead krishna is always situated within the core of the heart of the pure devotee the supreme personality of godhead krishna is always situated within the core of the heart a pure devotee it is very important that we have to make ourselves pure words are very important and pure devotion only come with our association by the mercy of gurudev and with the effort of our continuous practices and he is always offered prayers by sir such worshipable personalities as lord brahma and lord shiva because krishna embraced putna's body with great pleasure and sucked her breast although she was a great bitch she attained the position of a mother 
in the transcendental world and thus achieve the highest perfection. What then is to be said of the cause whose nipples Krishna sucked with great pleasure and who offered their milk very jubilantly with affection exactly like that of a mother? <laughs> it shows there is no difference in his sight. Paritranai sadhunam vinayasaya cha duskritam. So vinayasaya cha duskritam came later. First came paritranai sadhunam. For the benedictions of sadhus, devotees and loving ones who really cared for him. Those who are really from inside very curious and anxious having a very deep greed with pure devotion, eager to see or eager to go in service, leaving the suffering of this material existence with full of their heart, those who are very, very, very eager, greedy. These verses explain how devotional service rendered to the Supreme Personality of God, whether directly or indirectly, knowingly or unknowingly, becomes successful. Yen Kane Prakaran, anyhow. He never differentiate. Many times I listen, Skesha Baba saying, you just see that, oh yeah, in the temple, someone came. Ah, someone came is a big thing. At least someone came near to me. Enough. He's happy. Radharani is very happy. Not going near, they are not happy. Going near to them, looking at them, having darshan, what is the meaning? I came to see you. Why? Because I love you. To whom we love. We always try to see where is my lover. A child, when he loves with mother, little mother here and there, he starts to looking for where mama gone. Why? Because of love, because of caring, because of affection. The wife sometimes here and there, husband is very anxious. When husband is here and there, wife is very anxious. Why? But this foundation is strong. They are in love. Putana was neither a devotee nor a non-devotee. You see, neither a devotee nor a non-devotee. She was actually a demoniac with instructed by Kamsa to kill Krishna. There was no number for Putana. Non-devotee has at least number. Okay. He knows about uh, Krishna, he knows about the uh, bhakti, but he doesn't want to come or she doesn't want to come. They are non-devotee. 
there is number one or two, devotee one, non-devotee two. But Putana was not coming in any number. She was just instructed by Kamsa to go and kill Krishna. That's it. Nonetheless, in the beginning, she assumed the form of a very beautiful woman. And approach Krishna exactly like an affectionate mother. So that mother Yashoda and Rohini did not doubt her sincerity. They didn't doubt. She attired very beautifully. Actually, mother Rohini and mother Yashoda don't have that type of word to doubt anyone. Pure devotee, never doubt. Very simple, kind hearted people. Not people, they were the elevated soul. Parikaras of Golok Vrindavan. Since life and life. But here they were showing how nice. Hurt. They didn't doubt on this lady. They just saw, oh my God, so sincere lady has a lot of love for Krishna. The Lord took all this into consideration and thus she was automatically promoted to a position like that of Mother Yashoda. Without any difference. Yashoda, as explained by Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, there are various roles one may play in such a position. Putana was immediately promoted to Vaikuntha Loka. Putana sent to Vaikuntha in the loka of mothers and one division, Matri loka actually. Krishna consider her own mother among the other motherly love, gopis, Yashoda and Rohini. He put Putana at this level in Vaikuntha. Which is also sometimes described as Swarga. Vaikuntha Loka sometime we know as Swarga. The Swarga mentioned in this verse is not the material heavenly planet, but the transcendental world. In Vaikuntha Loka, Putana attained the position of a nurse, Dhatri Uchitam, Daima. Daima means at the time of birth of baby, we keep a, one more lady because mother is not able to do anything for this small baby. So this nurse, this maid is there to take care of the baby. So this is called Dhatri Uchitam. Uthana attained the position of a nurse. Dhatri Uchitam as described by Uddhava. The son of Brihaspati. Putana was elevated to the position of a nurse and maid servant in Goloka, Vrindavana, to assist Mother Yashoda. There she became assistant of Mother Yashoda. Whenever Mother Yashoda is busy, not able to not to do anything, this Putana is doing instead. That's why it is said, billions of billions tons of this common human being are not enough to glorify the nature of Radha Mohan. Not possible. Billions and billions tons, this tons, not possible.
what glory we can say is there end of the glory one thread of the hair of krishna's or radharani head as the entire beauty of universe consisting what we can glorify just one hair is able to contain the this cosmic creation's beauty that much beautiful they are how much glorify how much we can glorify भयासिम यासाम अभिवत पुत्र स्नेह भयासिम यासाम पिवत पुत्र स्नेह नुतानिलम भगवान देव की पुत्र केवल या दिखिल प्रद तासामा विरतम कृष्णे कुरती नाम सुते क्षण न पुनः कल्पते राजन संसारो ज्ञान संभव the supreme personality of godhead krishna is the bestower of many benediction including liberation kevalya or oneness with the brahman effulgence for that personality of godhead the gopis always felt maternal love and krishna sucked their rest with full satisfaction therefore because of their relationship it was not just to, they wanted to put their breast in the mouth of krishna this putting the breast in the mouth of krishna because of the relationship the word over came over here relationship that's why when we read we need to be careful that which word is coming where what what it is saying they were satisfied to put their breast in the mouth of krishna but this was including relation with krishna at the same time they were definitely feeling that i am the mother of krishna this child i am the mother and it's my son i am the mother he is my son i am the mother he is my son this there was no shortcomings there was no something lacking in this thinking of gopis that was the word over here all, always used maternal love motherly love because of their relationship a mother and son although the gopis were engaged in various families activities doesn't matter how many bother they had in their own family doesn't matter how much activities we are doing in this material world for our existence for our satisfaction materially satisfied ourselves on at every level no matter one should never think that they return to this material world after leaving their bodies so going or the coming or practicing in this spiritual platform our practice what we are doing is the meaning that we 
we want to go in seva from where we no need to come back at this material platform to suffer again and again in different kind of 84 different kind of billions of different kind of bodies see animals or see the life of an elephant big huge body big ear big trunk how difficult to live this life just looking at this earth is start shaking see the pig see the dog in their life no consciousness not able to take take the name no chance we got the chance we got the chance next time we will get the same chance no guarantee no confirmation human form or the same in the time when the prabhu pad uh, mahaprabhu shiman mahaprabhu took birth in the same kalikal all amenities facilities are available we are doing mistake he arranges everything for us very beautifully second by second timing is going on it's not for you all all only same whatever i am saying the same for me also don't think like i am saying for you it's not like that the same i am saying saying for you it's also applicable on me all. purport the advantage of krishna consciousness is described herein krishna consciousness gradually develops on the transcendental platform one may think of krishna as the supreme personality yeah very important i think it's coming now something the advantage of krishna consciousness is described herein krishna consciousness gradually develops on the transcendental platform gradually not overnight one may think of krishna as the supreme personality one thing one may think of krishna as the supreme master one may think of krishna as the supreme friend one may think of krishna as the supreme son or one may think of krishna as the supreme conjugal lover if one is connected with krishna in any of these transcendental relationship the course of one's material life is understood to have already ended it means to say to develop relationship according the all these relation you can consider him friend navadha bhakti nine type of different bhakti dasiras sakhiras huh? as a son as a lover as a friend supreme teacher can make a guru as confirmed in bhagavad gita tatva deham punar janma naiti mam eti tatva after leaving this body 
this type of my devotees never take birth again. For such devotees going back home, back to Godhead is guaranteed. Will not come back. No puna kalpate rajan samsaro jnana sambhava. This verse also guarantees that devotees who constantly think of Krishna in a particular relationship relationship will never return to this material world. In this material world of samsara, there are the same relationships. Really, we have different relationships in this material world, at material platform. Son, wife, lover, friend, husband, daughter, mother, father, cousin, nephew, niece, Many, many relations are there. But these relationships are temporary illusions. Not even temporary. These are temporary illusion. It's covering. The relationships are only covering. That really covered our eyes. To go to near real relation. A jnana sambhava, such a consciousness awakens in ignorance. This agyan, this ignorance. Because this happens because of ignorance. No knowledge when there is no effort to know the things. But when the same relationship awakens in Krishna consciousness, which same relationship? Son, friend, lover, Got it? Master, etc., etc. When the same relationship awakens in Krishna consciousness, one's spiritual life is revived. And one is guaranteed to return home back to Godhead. Even though the gopis who were friends of Rohini and Mother Yashoda, and who allowed their breasts to be sucked by Krishna, were not directly Krishna's mother. We consider, but definitely Krishna is directly not my son. If I consider Krishna is my son, this as a devotee, I am thinking, I am I developing relationship. But really, Krishna is not my son. That came with the help of this material body. So it is said, even though the gopis who were friends of Rohini and Mother Yashoda and who allowed their breasts to be sucked by Krishna were not directly Krishna's mother. They all had the same chance as Rohini. They all had the same chance. We have to catch this chance. Chance by luck or by their karma. They all had the same chance as Rohini and Yashoda to go back to Godhead. And act as Krishna's mothers, mothers in law, servants, and so on.
the word samsara refers to attachment for one's body om husband or wife and children in samsara it happens that this body is attached with different kind of relations but although the gopis and all the other inhabitants of prindavan had the same affection and attachment for husband and home their central affection was for krishna their central hmm, affection was for krishna one point eight one point they were focusing there center was there goal was fixed okay family this that everything alana dem ka but the target is there in same in some transcendental relationship and therefore they were guaranteed to be promoted to golok brindavan in the next life to live with krishna eternally in spiritual happiness only spiritual happiness there is no suffering free from no different different relationship different different horrible suffering the easiest way way to attain spiritual elevation to be liberated from this material world and go back home back to godhead is recommended by bhakti vinoda thakur krishnera samsara kara chadi anachar one should give up all sinful activities chadi krishnera samsara kara chadi anachar one should give up all sinful activities and remain in the family of krishna then one's liberation is guaranteed i think time is up now so i was not concerned but when i saw the uh, clock then it was 40 minutes was there so already some other classes will also come so i will not take your time as much as small little i was able to share or explain i did thank you very much kishori ji keval bhakti ji bhakti lata ji uddhava ji my god i'm very happy to see uddhava ji is here uh, you came vrindavan but you came only for uh, some days i think so please this time if you come you come more little longer <laughs> दास 
I'm also your Das Anudas. Das Anudas 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 Anudas. Thank you very much.